Hi subscribers, it's Joanna here. I haven't been online for a very long time posting films and uh, tonight I just really feel, just felt like kind of checking in and seeing how you guys were and giving you a little update. Um, my life has completely and utterly changed since I last posted and um, I think one of the reasons why I wanted to come on here tonight is um, because one of my friends who helped me um, withdraw off lithium um, more than a year and a half ago now, she's now back on um, a psychiatric medication, I don't know exactly what, um, I haven't been able to speak to her recently. Um, she's not on social media much and um, we haven't been able to chat just yet um, but I'm concerned for her, for her and um, some of the things she's been saying doesn't sound good and um, it just kind of brought it home to me I suppose where I'm at now where I've come from and quite how important it is just to look after yourself every single day, look after your well-being, look after your health, look after your sanity, looking after the people around you that um, you love and the people that are part of your every day. And But the number one is yourself. And so I don't know what happened that has uh, déclenché, as they say in French, to kind of... Um, to set this new spiral into place for her. Um, but, um, so just to give you a quick update, um, I now have decided to divorce my husband, so we're now separated. Uh, we've been living apart for um, about a month and a half, so it's still quite new. And... Um, I'm living in confinement with someone else um, to be away from my ex-husband and I look after my daughter one week on, one week off. Um, so that's all completely new. Um, but I suppose I wanted to tell you that because the month before I decided to split up from my husband, um, it was really interesting to watch what was going on um, mentally and physically with my body. And um, I was I was starting to have quite regular panic attacks and um, they ended up being every day, sometimes more than once a day. Um, and then over time, my sleeping pattern was getting worse and worse. And what was happening is I was able to fall asleep, um, but then at midnight or two o'clock, uh, around that time, I'd wake up and then um, I'd find it really hard to fall back to sleep again. Um, so I, I was having, within that month, I was having between two and four hours sleep a night. Um, there was the odd night when I could sleep through, but it was quite rare. And I was like, what is going on? What is going on? And I, I knew mentally that things weren't great and things had to change. But it was really fascinating for me to see how my body was giving me so many signs that my mind and my brain couldn't ignore it anymore. And I had to do something drastic because... If I were to carry on, then I would have I would have lost my my center so much that I would have you know disconnected and gone either into mania or depression or just a kind of a sense of not being able to hold it together any longer and um the lack of sleep obviously is makes it really difficult to live 
a normal functioning life in the daytime um and the panic attacks that are you know regular are just like really tiring um I'd forgotten what they were like <laughs> and um and uh I'm not having them anymore <laughs> I wouldn't be smiling like this if I was um and uh it's a strange noise around there <laughs> that's distracting me it's a bird or an animal or something I'm outside um and I'm a bit lost hang on a minute let me ponder <laughs> 